So yeah, and, and I forgot to mention, but uh, so here you have these tabs for the effects, but you, you also have uh, here the advanced panner. Uh, so so it's quite interesting. It, it just, um, yeah, you, you can basically uh, decide to, to pan your sound in, in various different ways, uh, either sing to tempo or not. Uh, so we've made some presets here. Uh, and you can decide uh, how you want to, to pan your, your sound uh, within fragments. Uh, so if I go 100% wet, you, you will hear the sound moving uh, back and forth. I love so it. I love that panner, man. And I love the you got so many presets in there too. And you got the randomness. It's It's brilliant. Yeah, it's quite fun to play with it, and sometimes it just leads to very interesting results, especially when you, again, all of these controls that have uh, small drop-down menus underneath, uh, it basically means that you have uh, several options. Here, uh, for the rate, size, density, offset, it means that you can sync them to tempo, so you can really use this panner uh, as a creative tool as well. It's not only some specialization, you know. I also think I think um, it's really great that you've included depth to the panner as well. So things will get quieter rather than just play with you know the stereo field, the left and the right. You're actually f kind of mimicking a 3D environment there with that. Yeah, it's it's more of a 2D environment if you think about it. But uh, but yeah, it, it's not some just basic uh, volume. We've also applied some filtering, so you perceive the sound uh, moving away and back. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's quite unique uh, and and really interesting to to play with. Um, maybe I should uh, I should play some other audio just to demonstrate uh, the different like grain release uh, sections. That's probably the most interesting part of the plugin, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I I think the more audio we hear, the better uh, it is because it sounds awesome every time. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. Um, so, yeah. Let's me, so, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, mention that, but uh, uh, you have the advanced and the simple view. The simple view is just perfect to browse presets uh, really quickly. Um, so here I took, uh, I took um, some, some strings. Uh, um, so here I've decided to go with the texture mode. Uh, so the texture mode basically is, um, it operates in a different manner than than the traditional modes, the classic mode. Uh, grain release is here instead of uh, density. You have a layer control, and this allows you to stack up uh, grains up and up and up, and 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 that leads to to very interesting results. Uh, so, for example. This is something that you will find, uh, for example, in like cinematic uh, music, in movies. Uh, granular synthesis works beautifully with strings, usually. Yeah. 